needed. And um, after running it over winter, I found my back wheel was absolutely spraying the trailer itself. And that wouldn't have been, that wouldn't have mattered because I've run it for years and not had a problem. But for some reason, I have no idea. I got I got a feeling it's the grip they're putting on the roads. But it's quite literally sandblasting most of the trailer. So it's taking all the paint off, revealing the, uh, revealing the metalwork that's there, and basically making it rusty. So I was wondering, how can I stop that? Can I put something on the um, on underneath the uh, rear fender and stop the spray going up, or can I put something there and stop uh, and stop the spray hitting it and causing problems? And I was thinking, what do I need? What do I need? And I, I and I go around. I could I could do a bash plate type style thing out of. Uh, aluminium or something like that and I thought but I'd have to paint it so what's black well, what mattish black and uh, a, a reasonable um, but also shaped so, so if, if I got something that was already shaped that would help and I came up with one of these it's an old paint tray this is my dad's uh, it's a paint tray basically, and it's it's quite an interesting shape. And I thought if I cut one of these down and, and basically screwed it to the front, that'll do the job. So I just happened to work for a DIY store, and I went and got one, a couple of quid, two quid, and I cut the bit out. That's basically where you roll the um, the roller on to take the excess paint off, and then you've got the dip into the tray itself. And so I thought, that's the perfect shape. Go on the front. And it protects it, and it'll look halfway decent. So, I'm going to screw this on now. Well, that's a close-up of the tray, as you can see. Um, it's got the nice little rises here, which will keep it off. But I'm also going to use some rubber... Um, I don't know what they were, but I've got them. They've got a hole in the middle. And it'll sit on there quite nicely. Job done. So, yeah. Um, I'm also using because the, the it's it's wood. I'm using some wood screws. So because the uh, well, I've used wood screws before, but it's easy done. So what I'm going to do is put the wood screw through the hole. As you can see pop the spacer so that'll take it away from rubbing on metal and things and just go into the wood at least it's plywood and it should do the job but it's a simple process that's all I'm going to do straight into the wood and so that'll rise it off any metal work and other fix fixings and stuff like that so I'm going to get on with it right I've already pre-drilled the holes because that was needed so effectively take Take the uh, screw pop on the hole. I'm going to do one at a time. There we go. Let's put it on loosely to start with, so I can get the others on. It's on there.
side. Hurry up the hole. Open the square one. Using the rubber bungs adds a little bit of resistance. As you can see, it keeps it off the board as well. That's not coming off. Right, it's on. It's looking, oh, it's looking halfway decent. That's just stopped the splash back from the wheel. Basically, sandblasting my paintwork. Easy job, but bits and pieces had lying around. Cost a couple of quid from uh, with the uh, the paint tray. <laughs> job done.